Welcome back to the channel. To achieve a self-reliance and to increase the India's share in the global economy, the private sector investment is critical for the Indian space sector. The science and technology have played an important role in India's rapid growth and development. One of the key pillars of the success story is the incredible progress that India has made on the space technology front led by the path-breaking visionary scientist Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. With his far-reaching vision, he paved the way for the development of space technology and its application to cater to various national needs. The Indian Space Research Organization has also played an important role in the development of India's space sector. Over the past years, it has successfully developed a notable indigenous capabilities in space technology, from design, development to the launch vehicles, to the indigenous development of communication and other satellite and the space applications. ISRO has done it all the achievement in the last few years. Yet, in for India, the through the ISRO controls only 3% of the overall share in the global space economy. According to the Morgan Stanley report, the global space industry is expected to generate a revenue of US $1.1 trillion or more in 2040 up from the current 350 billion US dollar. Given the space policy landscape, the state-owned agency has been solely responsible for all space-related activities and there have been a limited opportunities for participation for the private sector. From a scientific research project to deep earth exploration and the launch and the development of satellite, to preparing ground infrastructure for various needs, ISRO has juggled with the multiple responsibility and with fairly limited resources. However, the government push for Digital India, supported by other large-scale digitalization initiatives, has created a strong demand for the space-based services in the country that first superseded the capacity that a public funded institution can deliver by itself. Today, India needs to drastically improve on building a new propulsion technology that cannot only carry the higher payloads to meet the enhanced national requirement, but also compete against the likes of commercial ventures like SpaceX, who have advanced the capabilities that can carry much higher payloads and also use the reusable rocket technology. ISRO can do this and more with the close collaboration and strategic partnership with the private sector. Ubiquitous and high-speed satellite connectivity enabled by high-throughput satellite could be the enabler that can help the bridge India's long-standing digital divide. There are immense opportunities in the design and the development of new satellite that suit the requirement of various agencies as well as the foreign customers where space focused the Indian startup that could contribute with their talent and skills. The ground station are, are yet another important part of the satellite communications ecosystem one that are the private sector would find an attractive proposition. Besides, there are avenues of growth in the development of software solutions, especially required to leverage and make use of the large-scale data input from this satellite. With the focus on building Atonirbar Bharat, the government wants the private sector to be a co-traveler in India's space journey. An idea that mirrors the policy intervention that demanded the growth of India's telecom sector, opening the door to the private sector. The time to leapfrog 
the situation and utilize the policy that is expected to unleash a new dynamic door that has been opened in future currently that was missing till now it comes at a time where the space sector globally is attracting the significant investment from the private sector companies like amazon spacex softbank and onewave who are looking to grow the sector and explore the opportunities on a global scale to achieve the self reliance and to increase the india's share in the global economy the private sector investment is critical for the indian space sector opening the sector for the private players will have a multiplier effect to begin with in the within a short period of time simple economic forces will determine and expand the opportunities that the sector can provide once that is done investment will begin flowing in to help meet the demand for space based applications such as satellite based remote sensing weather predictions data connectivity and many others more competition will bring in more investment and lower the cost of services a key example of this could be the domain of internet services where indian satellite data services are currently the costliest in the world given that the india's mobile data prices are the lowest in the world it stands to reason the similar satellite based services that can be more cost effective allowing for the greater uptake by the private and the public enterprise and in time even individual customers the india today compete admirably with the terrestrial options despite having a capacity and cost constraint imposed by the regulatory framework it is an ecosystem where the use of automation artificial intelligence internet of things and the big data analysis will only increased and the role of satellite enable service to make this possible that cannot be underestimated the recent pandemic further highlighted this divide and turns to access to online education healthcare or even vaccine distribution and remote access to the government system online using the high speed ubiquitous satellite connectivity that could be enable and help the bridge India's long standing digital divide the new space policies has been announced at a time when india looks to build an open and inclusive space ecosystem it is bound to pave the path for the greater availability of the space technologies easy for use to the every people commonly accessible to the people and with the private sector all set to embrace the opportunities there is no doubt that the country will emerge stronger in the space and eventually capture a larger slice of the global space economy however any further delay in the implementation of the new policy a slow action by the indian space national space promotion and authorization center come with an own bearings impacting the aspirants of 